Hi everybody, I'm Federico from Frozen Crown and today I'm showing you how I played the solo for Never Ending, the first single from our second album Crowned in Frost. Remember, our third album Winter Bane is out now and you can find it on our official store frozencrown.bcartel.com, the only place where you can find stuff signed by the whole band as well as our t-shirts. Now in this video I'm going to break down the solo and show you every single part played slowly. Let's start from the solo introduction. You know, this part is basically the same, you can hear it right at the beginning of the song, but it goes differently this time. During the recordings I also harmonized this part, like this. Let's listen to the two parts together. Great, now the main part of the solo starts. Let's just see it even slower. Now let's go on with part two. slower for you. Of course the suggestion I can give you here is that when you play this note the 17th fret on the G string. Most important thing for me is to always play this note with a downstroke and then keep going with the alternate picking up and down. So you can start the whole thing with the upstroke. <laughs> So that you can naturally find yourself with a downstroke on this note. Or if you are like me, you know, I, I play this like, you know, randomly, you know, also because I often change things during live shows. I usually start with a downstroke. So basically when I get to the 16th fret, I get here with a downstroke, naturally, of course. And, uh, you know, the only thing I do is basically, you know, to just give another downstroke to play the note at 17th fret and then go on. Oh my God, that sucked. And then go on with the alternate picking naturally, you know. Of course, I think the most correct way to play it would be alternate picking starting with the up stroke from the very beginning. That's really up to you. So at the end of part two, there's a very simple part which is actually pretty much self-explanatory. Tell me about it! <laughs> You know, this part probably came from uh, the Downfall guitar solo by Alexi Laio. Let's just play it slower. So we have this final part here. So we 
are basically done for what concerns the main part of the solo. Let's just go on with the outro. Right now there is a guitar riff which is pretty much you know the same I play right at the beginning of the song which is this one. <laughs> to you because of course it's right in the middle but if you actually want to see more riffs if you actually want to see the whole song played all the riffs all the lead parts just let me know in a comment below and I'm going to make another video featuring all the never-ending guitar parts speaking of that if you have any specific Frozen Crown song you would like to see in the future just let me know as well so let's go on with the outro <laughs> So this part is pretty much a muted arpeggio, you see? So what we are doing here is basically muting the D and the A string, letting just the G string ring, and then changing the notes on the G string. So... Right after that part we have this one, which I got inspiration for by the song Oracle Moon by the band Garden of Shadows. I think they, they just made that single album, Oracle Moon, you know, that, that song was actually amazing. By the way, the part is... Uh... And then we have some more sliding here. And then another muted arpeggio, but this time we're playing two notes on the G string at the 12th and the 9th fret, and then playing this note at the 9th fret on the D string. So then we change the note and we go down here at 10th fret on the B string at, at the 12th fret on the B string. So. Now at half speed. This is self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> Now we have this part, which on the record I played on the 12th fret on the A string. So... That during live shows I play by just playing the A string. Because, you know, it just sounds more aggressive, you know? And then we have the final part. Half speed. And then, of course, at this point, this part is directly linked to the chorus part, which, of course, I was not playing live because I was singing. And by the way, again, if you want to see that part or Maybe all the lead parts from this song and also the rhythm parts or whatever, just let me know in a comment below. So, it's been a pleasure for me to be here with you and show you one of my guitar solos. Of course, I'm going to show you a lot more. Uh, I received a lot of requests for the Everwinter solo, but you know, who knows? Just let me know which one you could be interested in too. Of course, I was also thinking about bringing some Volturian and some Beatle Wolf guitar solos as well. So, let me know. What do you think about that? So thanks for being here. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to subscribe to our channel and uh, to share it with your friends, of course, and to put a like, you know, to do everything you can, you know, to support us. Of course, we receive a lot of comments. We are very happy to read all your comments. We reply to every single one of them. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to be sure to not miss any update. So, see you next time. Bye.